And after the death of a central Indiana child, that child's mother and her boyfriend now face charges of neglect. And DCS could also see legal action. Our Alyssa Raymond is live this morning in Anderson with what investigators have found so far. Good morning. Julia Ben, good morning. Yeah, this morning we're talking about the alleged neglect that ultimately led to the death of an 18-month-old baby. The mother's boyfriend is scheduled to be here in court this morning to formally be charged. But just take a moment to look at your screen. This is the little baby, Harlan Haynes, that we're talking about this morning. He died in late February. Court papers say he showed up to the ER suffering from respiratory arrest, extensive bruising along his entire body, and then went into cardiac arrest. Before before Harlan was taken to the hospital, he was in the car with his mother's boyfriend when they crashed into a utility pole. Investigators say Harlan's injuries were not from that crash. I don't think the evidence supports that at all. If you, the injuries are much older than would have occurred at the time of the accident. In addition, we've got the computer that was in the car and 30 yards before he hit the telephone pole, he's driving 14 miles an hour. Then it's 100% acceleration right into the pole and no, no braking before he hit the pole. So the evidence is overwhelming that the crash was to cover up the injuries to the child. This is a look at Harlan's mother, 27-year-old Jennifer Harris, and her boyfriend, Dylan Tate. Prosecutors say that Harlan suffered a brain injury because of lack of oxygen that was able to get to his brain. They also said that there was a paper towel that was lodged in his throat. There were also signs of sexual abuse. And then coming up in our next hour at 6 o'clock, we're going to talk about how Harlan's uncle actually says he tried to get custody of the child. So we'll talk about that more coming up at six o'clock. Ben Julia. All right, Alyssa, thank you.